right, you guys know where we're at. We're back in Las Vegas. There's Excalibur. And oh, look. We're at the Tropicana. We're here to document before it closes in a short, what is it, two weeks? As of the time of recording this, a yeah. short two weeks later at the Trop. Where the hell do you think you're going? I hear that the Hotel Tropicana is quite comfortable. Alright guys, so no video is ever complete without talking a little bit about the place. So let's talk a little bit about the Tropicana. <laughs> The Tropicana was a casino hotel on the Las Vegas Strip in Paradise, Nevada, which opened April 4th, 1957, and closed on today's date, April 2nd, 2024. Construction ran over schedule and over budget, due in part to competition for labor with the under-construction Stardust also on the Las Vegas Strip. The Tropicana was originally proposed as a $4.5 million project, it ultimately cost $15 million, including $800,000 for decorating and tropical landscaping. It was the most expensive Las Vegas resort developed up to that point, beating the $8.5 million Riviera, which opened two years earlier. The Tropicana would be advertised as the Tiffany of the Strip in reference to the high-end jeweler Tiffany & Co., then at the time known simply as Tiffany's. The resort's involvement with organized crime was confirmed a month after opening when a note bearing a Tropicana earnings figure was found in the possession of mobster Frank Castello. Castello had been shot in a failed assassination attempt. The police discovered the note while he was under hospital care. The resort since its conception had gone through several different owners. Most recently, April 2021, Bally's Corporation agreed to purchase the Tropicana, a deal that was finalized in September of 2022. Bally's bought the non-land asset for $148 million and leased the land for $10.5 million in rent annually. The Oakland Athletics, a Major League Baseball team, began considering a Las Vegas relocation in 2021 with the Tropicana property as a potential site for a stadium. Bally's chairman later said, the Trop is obviously iconic, but it is really in a lot of ways economically obsolete. It literally is part of the glitz and glamour of Vegas, but hasn't been that for decades. In May of 2023, after more than a year of negotiation, the Oakland A's reached an agreement with Bally's to demolish the Tropicana for redevelopment of a stadium. The stadium will occupy nine acres while Bally's will keep the remainder for a new casino resort, which will feature the company's brand name and 1,500 rooms. The Tropicana is also known for its live entertainment dating all the way back to 1958 with the start of The Tropical Holiday, a striptease review starring Jane Mansfield. Later that same year, the Stardust opened on the strip along with the show Little de Paris featuring topless showgirls. Inspired by the show's success, the Tropicana debuted its own topless review in 1959 titled Foley's Bergère. The show was imported from Paris. Aside from the show Girls, Foley's Bergère also featured other acts including the Las Vegas debut of Sid Fried and Roy and Lance Burton in 1982. The show ran at the Tropicana until 2009, closing shortly after its 50th anniversary. As of 2024, it remains the longest running show in Las Vegas history. As of recently, in the largest venue at the property is the 1100 seat Tropicana Theater, which features the Prince Tribute Show, Purple Rain, and the Michael Jackson Tribute Show, MJ Live. The venue opened in 1973 as the Superstar Theater, 
built to the specifications desired by Sammy Davis Jr., it was renamed as the Tiffany Theater in 1975. Now let's talk a little bit about the Tropicana in pop culture. Uh, a scene from Foley's Bergere is featured in the 1964 Elvis Presley film, Viva Las Vegas. In 1971, the James Bond film, Diamonds Are Forever, 007 stays at the Tropicana because he heard it is quite comfortable. Now doing a little bit of research on uh, Diamonds Are Forever, I couldn't really find anything that said that uh, this movie, Diamonds Are Forever, was actually filmed there at the Tropicana. However, a sequence from The Godfather in 1972 was filmed at the resort. There's the, uh, the Las Vegas scene there that is all uh, well, mostly filmed in the Tropicana. The Tropicana has even been featured in television programs. Most notably, in 1998, stunt performer Robbie Knievel jumped a motorcycle across 30 limousines at the Tropicana for a live two-hour special titled Daredevil's Live, shattering the records. Also, the Tropicana was used for the taping of several game shows, including Dealer's Choice in 1974, The Las Vegas Gambit 1980-81, to and Let's Make a Deal was revived here in 2009, with half of its first season being taped at the resort before moving to Los Angeles. Now that's going to do it for the little history portion of the video. I want you guys to sit back and kind of enjoy the, the rest of this walkthrough. And uh, please, if you guys are enjoying these sort of videos, please smash that like button. Share this video, help this channel grow. So again, make sure you stay tuned to the oh, end of the video. The first. Those aren't real money. Oh yeah, they're not. Not real money. It's like some Amazon money. This is restrooms are this way. We gotta figure out how to get up to the second level. Alright, so let's see. We got the uh, Robert Public House, Robert Irvine. Oh, yeah. I've heard of this guy before. We got the uh, Red Lotus Asian Kitchen. I think they have one of these in the uh, the Nugget over there on Fremont. I think it's the same thing. You don't think it's the same thing? Oh, there's an old buffalo. Let's see what else we got here. Don't got very much over here. It's funny, I'm looking at that screen and I have my sunglasses on because they're prescription. I can see better with them. They're also polarized, so a lot of these machines to me look like they're shut off. All right. Oh yeah. Got Wonder Woman. Yeah. Somebody won. Somebody's racking up something. Oh, it looks like it's her right there. Maybe, possibly. Hey, so anybody watching here, has anybody ever gotten married here? Wedding courtyard? I know. It's like old vintage Vegas. You can actually touch the ceiling? What? Almost. There you go. What is this there? A little uh, food court sort of thing? Oh no, this is a... Uh... There you go. Trop coffee. You guys can stop and read that if you want. Lots of pause and read moments. Oh, there we are. Here's a bigger menu. Get a quick look. 
Uh, it's very wide open. Oh, and a lone planet moolah. Yeah, they should have like a whole cluster of machines here, but they don't. feels abandoned here like where is everybody where is everything let's see food and beverage offices casino marketing office let's see I'm trying to figure out how to get to the uh that second floor so we could check out the uh the tiffany ceiling oh. Here we are. Yes, I do record with my cell phone, guys. I'm assuming these are uh, stairways to get down to the casino. And I guess this is already closed. Food and beverage. I guess there would be no need for that anymore. And we're going this way towards the club tower. The Trinidad Pavilion, Wedding Chapel, and Conference Center is this way. Uh, there's really nothing here. Got a couple of pictures. Look at this old like tile. I wonder if that was original from the 1950s. That's something you you would see, right? It's the kind of tile you would see in the 50s, right, Ms. Mm -hmm. Would you say? I mean, yeah. What did you say? Very dirty. Look at it. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, the casino is definitely showing some age. I mean, I'll be honest. This was one of the casinos that I would see on the strip coming through and wondering, like, why it's still here. What were you going to say, Miss Nora? Oh. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to show them like that. Closed. Yeah, this is definitely closed. Yeah, look at the tables are all stacked up, what used to be out here. It's very bright in there. Yeah. Very interesting. It's breakfast. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then, uh, got Oakville Steakhouse. Hmm. Everything is still set up. It looks relatively neat still, so... I'm assuming they're still using this. Yeah. You could tell we were built for like McDonald's and In-N-Out, right, man? Now and I. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend 50 bucks on scallops. That's for sure. Assuming that's the original tower right there. That has to be the original tower. Originally opened with, I believe, just under 400 rooms and a three story tower. Oh, I know it's not open, but. Yeah, I don't think that. The athletics for that. It is an odd looking little 
Or office? No, don't look for me. Is it? Get another view on here. They had a couple of different pools. That might have been a, either a jacuzzi or a. Yeah, but that that's a really small pool. It only goes at like three and a half feet. Oh no, I see a five five and a half foot. Yeah, I see it. That's a really small pool. I don't know. Goodness. It is warm. Maybe that pool connects. Uh, I doubt it. We'll get out there and look at the take a peek. All the lines. Oh yeah, they do have it all. I don't know if that's for demo or not, but I think it is. Think so? You wouldn't have those marks for anything else. And look at you can see some of the uh the old cabanas you could rent right there. Look at the pool goes inside six. of there. Mm-hmm. Over there. <laughs> this goes under the Oh uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the uh the pathways and everything out there are definitely not being taken care of. I mean you know, I, I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't want to waste money on you know, nothing either. I don't know if you guys can see that tower, all those windows. What looks like uh, peeling paint is actually the the chipped or broken windows. All kinds of stuff up there. Let's go see what else they have here. What, what is glow? Oh, it's a spa? Yeah. It's a spay? What's that? A spay. Yeah. Let's see what else they have down here. I think uh, they'll let us into this the, might be the, the coolest spot. In yeah, in this old casino, casino, probably because it's right in the center. Oh, we can walk out there. Yeah, we'll, we'll get out there. Oh, the wedding chapel. Wedding chapel's that way. Club tower, that's just another tower. We'll go peek over there. We can't? Oh. And the Trinidad Pavilion and meeting rooms, which it looks like those are closed off to us. And looks like stuff that's closed. I know, it feels good. You know why? Because there's nobody down here. There's nobody here. Yeah. Still holding meetings or something here. I think that's it in this little corner, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think these doors were? You think they were elevators? No, elevators are behind us. Maybe there was a cafe or something here. Yeah, I guess that's what it was, that cafe right there. And that's it. Alright, so we finally found our way up here, guys. This is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. I guess maybe just not look in the mirror. Wow. Look at Mrs. 909 around. He's right in front of the uh, so cool, huh? I really hope. Alright guys, I am, actually let me zoom out real quick, give you guys that wide angle view, there you go. Just because it's here. 
the Laugh Factory. Guys, it is vacant of people. It's now nine. How cool would it be to be able to explore this abandoned? Yeah. That would be so cool. Oh, okay. So we were here earlier. I'm thinking this is the, the stage and everything. I guess that would be it down there. Okay, it says entrance. I should have seen that. I'm thinking this was like... I don't know what I was thinking, guys, but... What? Not it. Let's see what else we got over here. Yeah, a lot of things are already closing up shop. Look at all that. Let's take a walk over here. By the way, this these areas are not closed off yet. At least there was no ropes or anything saying that we couldn't be over here. Although it feels kind of wrong to be over here, doesn't it? No. It feels a little odd because nobody's here. Nah. I don't know if this was something or just... Nope, just a little storage area for tables. Probably for the Laugh Factory. I guess that's it for this level. Alright, so here's Mrs. 909, of course. In front of the original original portion of the hotel. They look like they're from the 70s. Well, yeah, they were built in the the 50s actually. Well, that, they show their age. Yeah, let's go this way. I mean, look at that. Look at that nice shot right there, guys. That might even be the thumbnail. We'll see. Very cool. Why don't you get a picture? I will on the way out. I'll record and then come back and take pictures. Pool access, so. I don't know why they don't have um, slot machines out to buy the pool. I don't know. Where your kids can play and well, you can gamble. If I remember correctly, I think they did have like a walk-up bar out here. They might have had some at that bar. Like a, um, in the pool, you know what I mean? Mm. The pool bar, I don't know. I might just be imagining things, who knows. Mm hmm. The mosquito? Yep. The mosquito breeding grounds. Now, obviously, this probably wouldn't normally be that dirty. I would imagine this is, you know, some sort of a water feature, a water fountain, waterfall. So, you know. Yeah, obviously, you could see it was a waterfall at one point. All right, guys, really quick, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon members, David Piotrowski, Zeb and Michelle Sterling. Also, my members right here on YouTube, Joanne Glass and Texas Adventures with Brexton. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to get out here today. So thank you guys so much. It's closed. So there's the pool area. And Mrs. 909 was right. You guys can see over in this corner, over there, that part was, uh, that part is actually connected to the other side too. It goes right under that walkway. <sighs> the weather's not too bad today. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, I don't think I would die if I went into yeah. a pool right now. Well, yeah. Especially not a hot tub. There it is, guys. There's the, uh, another thing. Yeah, I'm going to. Bartender, Coors Light, please.